Okay, Thanksgiving Day, 2024. We just parked on Skyline Boulevard, heading down a trail into Forest Park, and we haven't done this hike in probably a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, probably more like three or four years. But this is a trail we would come and get a little training in. It's got some steep, a couple steep parts. So we thought it'd dry out, foggy, a little cold. Let's see how the pins are working today. And uh, I can't remember what this put in is called. Jeez Louise, somebody's flying down the road. I can't remember what the, uh, it's called, so I'd have to look it up on the map. My knee's a little squirrely right now, so let's see, uh, see what is ahead of us. So basically we're on a road until we get on the trail, but pretty. Get some really good fall colors this year. And uh, we haven't up in uh, the Forest Park area all that much. We've been kind of dedicating ourselves to Jenkins Estates and a little bit in the Coast Range. So I'm hoping tomorrow, Friday, while Marianne's out buying me lavish gifts, I'm hoping to uh, head over to the Coast Range, do a little bit of hiking, do a little bit of uh, filming, or whatever, digital film, I guess, uh, of the Greeks. So hopefully that happens. go got the last little remnants of the fall color we just uh, wrapping up the month of November and it's been pretty wet we kind of had a few couple dry days and actually the forecast is for the next six days I think of dry weather so we're getting a break Phone probably doesn't do this justice, but this is kind of a pretty little section. The road kind of takes a left turn, and you got the uh, ferns all up on the hillside there. Very cool. This is all kind of coming back to me. Um, I know down towards the bottom here, it gets really steep. And then the trail, you hit the trail, Kind of off the road, so to speak. Yeah, Forest Park, Portland, Oregon. Yeah. All the uh, I don't know, recent troubles Portland's having. Definitely, this is a real gem to have so close to a city. Okay, going off memory here, but uh, I think this is where obviously it starts to dip down. It gets pretty steep in one little section, and then it hits the trail. I don't know, maybe it's the Wildwood Trail that starts to head south towards Germantown Road. And uh, at that point, I think we're just going to turn around and walk this semi road out of here. Let me see, coming up here, if I'm right. Still heading down, looking pretty. Look at those nice straight timbers. That's one thing I really like about Forest Park. All the trees are so tall and straight. Very cool. Okay, coming down the last little spot here before we hit a sign and then the trail kind of goes left or right and this this is kind of what I was talking about you probably can't tell through the phone <clears throat> this little section right here gets a little bit steep <clears throat> I do remember this still more color in here than I thought there'd be very nice give you a little knee up update the left knee is feeling a little sore right knee a little bit tweaky there so you know that 
Elder Fruity phone looks beautiful. So, I'm not healed up, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think I probably ever will honestly be 100%. I think those days are, are over. I'll have to just kind of pivot and do easier hikes and be happy with that. So, very nice. Let's get a picture of this. Okay, just to let you know, we're on, we came down Fire Road, Fire Lane 15. That way is where we were hiking. Was that last week or two, two weeks. weeks? Two weeks ago when we parked on Newberry Road with Bill and Debbie. If we would have kept hiking, we would have ended up right where we're standing. Fire Road, Fire Lane 15. Back up this steep mofo out to the car. Okay, this will be my last shot. This is the little steep steepness coming out. You can never tell how steep it is when you're doing this on the phone, but it's got a good pitch to it. What do you think? Yeah. All right, see you back at the car.